Meanwhile, Sanders is vowing to stake it out until the very end. He was busy rallying supporters and making big promises. Take on live political reporter Dave Bryant is live in Irvine where he talked to Sanders about his decision to take it to the convention. Dave. That's right, Peter Andrea. You know, most experts believe Bernie Sanders has only slightly more than a 0% chance of winning the Democratic presidential nomination this year. But clearly, Sanders disagrees. And he told me about his plan to do well here in California and then convince hundreds of superdelegates that he, not Hillary Clinton, has the best chance to beat Donald Trump in November. Just moments before he walked onto the stage for a campaign rally in Irvine, a defiant Bernie Sanders made it clear in an interview with me that not only will he not quit the Democratic race for president, but if he wins the California primary in two weeks, he says he expects to carry that nomination battle to a divided convention in Philadelphia. I think we have a realistic chance in the sense that if we do really well in California and the other five states and in the other non-state uh, primaries, uh, it is possible for us to get 50% of the pledged delegates. Will you carry that to the convention? Yeah, of course. So you'll, you'll fight at the convention as well? Well, we're going to take, as I've said many, many times, uh, we are going to make sure that the people of California, the largest state in our country, have a right uh, to cast their ballots as to who they want to see as the next president of the United States. Uh, and we are going to take our fight, uh, of course, to the convention. And when I asked Sanders about the fear many Democrats have about the splintering party, he was even more fired up and attacked the Democratic Party establishment. When you were saying that the nomination process is corrupt, that it's rigged. I didn't say, no, I, that was not my word that it was corrupt. What I said is that it seems to me to be absurd that you have a nominating process in which 400 superdelegates select a candidate before anyone else is in the race. I asked Sanders after the long, contentious campaign about his relationship now with Hillary Clinton. Where do things stand now between the two of you? Look, here is the story. Uh, I've known Hillary Clinton for 25 years. We served in the Senate together. Uh, the issue today is whether the Democratic Party is going to represent working families in a forceful way. If the Democratic Party is prepared to do that, I will be elected president, Hillary Clinton will be elected president, one of us will be elected president, Donald Trump will not. Now, the fact is the other candidates, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, are really not paying much attention to Bernie Sanders anymore. In fact, their time is now spent attacking one another as they effectively begin the campaign for the general election. Peter, Andrea, back to you.